All right, how's it going, everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win, and welcome to the last episode of Getting the Nuke, and this is going to be on the map Wasteland. Now, I want to spend half of the commentary talking about a little bit about the gameplay, what I did, getting the nuke, etc. Obviously, that is the title of this series, but I also want to talk about uh, my opinions on Modern Warfare 4, since I guess this is a Modern Warfare 4 game, and we're, in, we're officially in the year 2013, obviously the year that Modern Warfare 4 is scheduled to come out. Wow, that sounds incredibly difficult saying... Anyways, moving on. So, Wasteland is a, you know, it, it's uh, it's a huge map. There's no denying that. And the beginning of this game is a little slow, but the very positive thing with Wasteland is killstreaks go to work on this map. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to put myself in a position where I'm not in the middle of the action. So, if you know anything about Wasteland, obviously it is a giant wasteland, a giant grass field, but in the middle there is this tunnel that makes almost like a triforce pattern you know it's got three entrances and in the middle there's this little you know cubby of where people hang out and you know you can do you know all sorts of fun activities of dying and getting hit by simtexes and rpgs and rockets and you know if you're going for a nuke that is not what you want to do that's not what you want to do uh you want to you know stay on the outside of the map and try to pick people off as they run towards the middle of the map now i have chosen the graveyard section of uh, wasteland now in this graveyard section obviously gives you a good bit of cover because there's tanks broken down cars and there's also this little wall right here and I eventually go down a little bit farther past that broken down house right there um, and essentially what I do is just use the power of the silencer and a very nice long-range weapon in the ACR the ACR you know has a very long range uh, and almost no recoil and is a death laser and you know slapping on a silencer is a, a very effective way to do what you want to do and uh, that guy right there, suspected Loki 16, uh, was quite the revenge killer, if I do say so myself. That man was all about trying to get me out of this spot. So right about now, I eventually said, you know what? Uh, I am out of here. See you later. Uh, I am not going to do that because he's going to come back there and look for me, and he's going to catch me off guard one time. So this is where I start catching off a, a few snipers and guys that are really just fighting their own little battles. And this is what I'm talking about here, the broken down tanks and the graveyard right here. This is a great area to be because you're on the edge of the map, but you can see so far inside to the interior of the map, you know, that it makes it kind of easier for you uh, to pick up kills and to uh, eliminate those that are shooting at you. And I got very lucky right here that that sniper was not able to, you know, able to lock onto me. The only issue with this is the lack of scavenger bags. You can see I'm running really low on ammo right here. So, you know, it does take a few stragglers to run up to you and, uh, you know, supply you with a scavenger bag before you can really say that you're safe. So right there, um, I unfortunately didn't pick up any scavenger bags. And I thought I was going to cut it really close right here uh, because I was out of scavenger bags. What happens if I run into someone? And this is when I start playing it a little bit more conservatively. Like you can see, I'm checking out my spots right here. And I'm hoping that one guy, like that guy, drops a scavenger bag for me, and he does. So, and that's basically what happens. Anyways, so Modern Warfare 4. To be honest with you, I don't know what I think about Modern Warfare 4. I don't even know if I'm going to buy Modern Warfare 4. Because if you watch my video on Monday, it's just going to be like Modern Warfare 3. There's not going to be... You know, they might make some few improvements with score streaks. They might take Black Ops 2 system, but man, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I might play, I'm, uh, try. Obviously, I'm gonna give Modern Warfare 4 a chance, but you know, that's you know, Infinity Ward has struck out a few, a few too many times for me to to have them and say, oh, you know, they're gonna rebound, uh, you know, just like that and come back with a great game. No, I don't know if it works like that. I don't know if I, I put my full trust in Infinity Ward's hands uh, to create a, a fresh game. Obviously, because they don't have the engine that Respawn Studios has. It's going to be another Modern Warfare 3. And, um, you know, I don't know what I think about that. But anyways, speeding up the chopper gunner. Like I said, Wasteland, killstreaks dominate. If I wanted to, I could have gotten like 14 kills out of this chopper gunner. But I just stop at 29 kills. And then I spin around and spin around and uh, wait so I can call in the nuke. And it was funny because all the kids in this game were like, there's no way that happened, you know, cheater, hacker. But anyways, so uh, that is the game, guys. And this is the final episode of this series. I'm sure I might do a few episodes of Modern Warfare 2 down the line. But don't expect it as a regular thing, as Black Ops 2, as taking my heart. And will probably be something that you see over the next few weeks, next few days, next few months, whatever the case may be. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Other than that, like I said, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for taking the time out of your day. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Have a nice day, and I will see you guys in the next video.